Using herbs in your cooking is a great way to add a burst of fresh flavor and depth to your food. I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks for getting the most out of your fresh herbs. I separate herbs into two categories, soft herbs and heartier herbs. Soft herbs like parsley, mint, chive, cilantro, and basil are best added at the end of cooking. Their bright and delicate flavor can get lost during long cooking times. Heartier herbs like oregano, thyme, sage, and rosemary should be added at the beginning of cooking to enhance the recipe's depth of flavor. Storing your herbs, whether homegrown or store-bought, is simple. Most herbs can be refrigerated. We like to store those softer herbs in a glass with a little bit of water, then covered with a plastic bag. Almost like you're storing a bouquet of flowers. Hardier herbs should be wrapped in a damp paper towel and stored in the refrigerator for when I'm ready to use it. Warm weather months aren't the only time you can add fresh herbs to your cooking. Freezing herbs is an option, and our herb freezing tray set is great for it. Freeze herbs for a minimum of four hours or until they're set. Once they're set, herb discs can remain in the tray or pop out and transfer to an airtight, freezer-safe container. You can add them to cooked foods like soups, stews, and sauces. Add them toward the end when cooking vegetables, meat, poultry, and fish, or add them to pasta, rice, and potatoes. If your recipe calls for dry herbs, you can substitute fresh herbs. A rule of thumb is to use three times as much fresh herbs as dry. Another use is to make homemade compound butter with our whipped cream maker. See our website for recipes like bacon chive, cilantro lime, lemon rosemary, and others. Those are just a few ways to spice up your cooking and how to get the most out of your fresh herbs.